Hey guys, this is John McMullen bringing you a quick tutorial on how to make stars in Flash Professionals CC. Um, it's uh, pretty simple, um, although it's not as easy as it was in past ones because Flash decided to get rid of some tools which included um, the uh, spray brush tool which is great for making stars. So um, I'm going to create a new Action Script 3 file though. Let me change the background real quick to a bluish or something. And I'm going to grab my brush tool which is B on my keyboard or right over here in your sidebar. It's the brush tool. Um, so with the brush tool, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with the brush tool, you can go through and resize it. Uh, you can come down here to resize it, uh, brush size right there, and select different sizes. Or you can use the uh, open and close bracket um, symbols on your keyboard uh, that look like this. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. Uh, the open and close bracket. Let me see if I can resize this real quick. I'll do this. So it looks like this and this. Uh, you can actually use these to change your brush size. So if I uh, have my brush pulled up again, which is B on my keyboard, and I'm just going to click anywhere on my scene here. Um, you actually can't see anything yet. Uh, but if I increase it once by hitting my uh, right bracket, you see a little bit larger, a little larger. So you can use these brackets to increase the brush size really quickly, um, and it'll go to its maximum size. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this, though, and um, I'm going to grab my brush again. I have a white uh, color selector for my stars, and my brush size is extremely large right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it a little bit smaller. And uh, basically what you're going to do is you're just going to go through and click a bunch of random places with one brush size. Um, so I've got a bunch of random spots clicked. It's okay if some of it smudges like that. We're going to actually scale this down quite a bit in a second here. And I'm going to go outside of my scene area as well. Like I said, we're going to scale it down. Uh, let me actually, there we go. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to make my brush size slightly smaller. And we'll go through and click a bunch of other spots. Uh, let me scale back up here. And uh, we're just going to go through and make a bunch of dots. So it's not the most efficient way um, because, uh, you know, the other tool, which if you haven't worked on a previous version of Flash, you have no idea what it is. But the other tool, we could actually set it to make a bunch of random sized dots like what we're doing now, basically in one click. Um, and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, actually, that's so small you can barely see it. So you got to kind of move it a little bit. Okay. Uh, sound effects are optional while you're doing this, and they're kind of fun. You can just go like pew pew, you know. All right, um, so I've got a bunch of random dots set out. Now what I'm going to do is get my selection tool, which is V on my keyboard, and select all of them. And I'll use my free transform tool, which is Q on your keyboard. Uh, Q, and that lets you resize it. So I can do that, and then I can resize it and rotate it if I want to, you know, whatever you want to do here. Um, and uh, once you get it to a size that you'd like, if you want to make more stars, like um, that only filled up half of my stage at the size that I like, I'm going to go ahead and get Control C on my keyboard and Control V to copy and paste. And I'll just move this over here and voila, you've got a bunch of stars. Um, if you see some places where it looks like you know you kind of have a pattern going, simply select some of those from that area and drag them somewhere else and kind of just shift things around a little bit so there's not a real pattern happening with your stars. Um, and then if you see some places like this great divide right here that are kind of blank, you can always grab your brush tool. Uh, I'll make it pretty small and go in and just kind of add some stars in there as well. All right, uh, so that's a real uh, quick and simple way to make stars. You just got to get in there and start clicking a bunch with your brush tool. Um, pretty simple. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. You can always leave a comment below or uh, shoot me an email at simplejohn at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.